I see an officer to the left of me. I'm not thinking anything of it because I'm a law-abiding citizen. And also keep in mind, I got my Bose headphones on. I look to my left, the officer, I see him coming with guns blazing. I see him, I see him say, get on the ground, put your hands up like you're an airplane. As he's looking at me, I'm thinking that he's making a mistake. So I'm looking past where he's looking. Four officers got their guns blazing. They tell me to get on the ground, spread my arms out. They put me in cuffs. The officer took his knee, put it on my neck. Um, it wasn't as long as uh, George Floyd, but um, I know how that feels. I said, why are you doing this? Like, what's wrong? They said, you fit the description of a black man in this in this area, I told them, I said, if you look Google right now, Jay Farrow, you will see that you made a big mistake. A minute later, after I was detained in cuffs, and keep in mind, they've already asked me, do you wanna, you, you wanna sit on the side? I'm like, no, I don't even wanna be on the ground. They come back, they say, we're sorry, uh, we just got a call in that it's not you. In light of the recent injustices that continue to be a racist theme since 1619 for black men and women in America, comedian Jay Farrow spoke in an Instagram video of what he just endured. Posted on Instagram, the 32-year-old narrates exactly what happened. He was simply working out in Los Angeles, California, when he was approached by a police officer who ordered him to get on the ground. They told him he fit the description. A black male wearing gray sweatpants and a gray shirt. Fit the description. An old trope full of BS. If you carry a loaded handgun, you got an automatic three and a half years in the slammer. This dude empowered the creme de la creme of racial profiling, aka stop and frisk. According to the Washington Post, only about 3% of these stop and frisk encounters produce any evidence of a crime. So 97% plus of these people are getting punished solely because they belong to a group that statistically commits some crimes at a higher rate. That ought to bother us, wrote the author Radley Balco. Drawing guns on Pharaoh? That's one of countless examples where police use excessive force. The New York Times found that while black people make up 19% of, for example, the Minneapolis population, police use excessive force on black people 58% of the time. As the headline states, Minneapolis police use force against black people at seven times the rate of whites. The point being, let Jay Farrow put it in his own words. I'm Jay Farrow and I'm a black man in America and my life matters. Exactly. Deadline has the transcription. Three more officers drove up. It's hot. Corona is definitely something to be worried about. The police officers didn't have on gloves. They didn't have on masks. When they put me in cuffs after they were all on me, an officer put his knee on my neck. Like Pharaoh, Ahmad Arbery was jogging and working out when he was lynched by two white supremacists. Jogging which adds to the growing list of things black people can't do in America. They can't exercise in public. They can't listen to music at a gas station like Jordan Davis. Can't go to Walmart like John Crawford III. Can't play at a park like Tamir Rice. Can't live after just a failure to signal like Sandra Bland. Can't ask for help when their vehicle breaks down like Corey Jones. Can't go get a snack and carry Skittles like Trayvon Martin. Can't wait for the school bus in Rochester, New York to take you to your high school game. Can't drink iced tea like like Christopher Beatty can't even talk smack after a big win without being vilified, can't be six years old, can't go to a Starbucks, can't go play golf, can't work out without being racially profiled, can't rent from Airbnb, can't go into your own home, can't go bird watching in public, you definitely can't be a tourist, you definitely can't go swimming, you definitely can't be a nine year old with a backpack, you can't eat ice cream in your own home, you can't sleep in your own home, or even protest all the BS minorities face in this country like the ones I listed above.